friends, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to the 10th episode of the item guide series. Today we will talk about 3 attack items, Wind of Nature, Scarlet Phantom and Sea Halberd. But before we start, the 5 shoutouts of today goes to Kirito, Raphael Silla, Anonymous, Bone Mint Kant and Ace Ion. As always, write something nice in the comments. I really love the creativity of some of you, who actually just write something nice. So yeah, let's start now with Wind of Nature. First we will go through the stats. You get plus 30 physical attack, plus 20% attack speed and plus 10% physical lifesteal. The stats are alright, but to be honest, you're not building this item for the stats. You want it for the active skill. Unlike most other items, Wind of Nature has an active skill. It's called Wind Chant. Once you've activated it, you're becoming immune to all physical damage. Importantly, physical damage, not magic or true damage. This effect lasts for 2 seconds when used by a marksman and 1 second for all other heroes. The cooldown of this effect is 70 seconds. I'm using 1-1 one -one for the demonstration. After I build the item, this little button appears. And as you can see, for 2 seconds I haven't received any physical damage. So, who is this item for? It's mainly for marksmen who can use attack speed items and want to counter an enemy hero with high physical burst damage. Examples are Granger, Aldous, Hayabusa or Hellcurt. If an enemy like this is dominating the game and simply beats you around the park, you could also build it as a marksman who don't really need attack speed to counter this hero. I wouldn't recommend to buy it as a non-marksman hero. When your hero deals magic damage, you can buy Winter Trunction and any other hero can focus on other physical defense items, like Immortality for example. Next, let's talk about Scarlet Phantom. We start again with the stats. You get plus 30 physical attack, plus 20% attack speed and plus 25% crit chance. It has one passive and it's called Frenzy. I just remembered, there was a spell in Heroes of Might and Magic 3 with the same name. Do any of you know this game? I think it's my all time favorite. F I realize this game is already 22 years old. My goodness I feel old now. Anyway, enough off topic. I wanted to explain you the passive. Once you hit an enemy with a critical hit, your attack speed is increased by 30% and your crit chance by 5%. This effect lasts for 2 seconds. Let me demonstrate it now to you. I'm using our favorite tank Layla for the demonstration. My attack speed now is 1.6 and my crit chance is 30%. After I hit Layla with a crit hit, my attack speed increased to 1.9 and my crit chance to 35%. So, who is this item for? It's mainly made for heroes who rely on attack speed and therefore also benefit from the extra crit chance, like Layla, Mia, Leslie, One One, or my personal favorite hero of all time, Hanabi. I wonder how many of you got triggered by that statement. I'm just kidding. Melee heroes who uses mostly basic attacks can use it as well to boost their attack speed and crit chance, like Argus or Zilong for example. Now to the third item, Sea Halberd. This is one of the most important items that you should definitely know. Do you know why? This item is made to counter all heroes who have a regeneration effect. First, let's look at the stats again. You get plus 70 physical attack and plus 25% attack speed. That's already pretty good stats for any hero who needs attack speed. Now to the effect. It's called Life Drain. When you deal any damage to a target, you reduce the shield and the HP regeneration effect of that target by 50%. This lasts for 3 seconds. A few things regarding this effect. First, this effect is not stacking up when used by multiple heroes. So it's not helpful when your whole team equipped this item. Usually it should be enough when two heroes in a team build an anti-heal item. When playing against heroes with regen abilities of course. If you have it in your default build, but no enemy has any strong regen abilities, you should switch it out for something else. There is also a mage and tank item existing with basically the same effect. They are called necklace of Durant for mages and dominance eyes for tanks. Also whenever you hit an enemy, the 3 seconds of the life drain effect is resetted. So only after you haven't hit the enemy for 3 seconds, the life drain effect ends on them. That means also that there is no cooldown for that passive. So just make sure to actually damage the enemy with regen abilities. I'm using 1-1 one -one again for the demonstration. And my wife is playing Estus. Before I hit her, 
Her regen is 72. And after I have hit her, it's 36. Makes sense, right? You can also see this little broken heart icon. That means that the life drain effect is active on a hero. The same effect applies on shields, like from Aegis for example. Before, it gives her this much shield and with the effect, only this much. It's a big difference. So, who is this item for? You should build it on heroes who benefit from attack speed. There are plenty of those, so it should be most of the time possible to find one that can build it. Otherwise, there are still the other two anti-heal items available. What just came into my mind? If your pro teammates doesn't know that they should build it, don't just tell them anti-heal. Be really specific like, dude X, please build C Halberd for anti-heal against hero Y, or necklace of the runs for your mage teammate, or dominance eyes for your lovely tank. This might decrease the chance that they actually build it. Many players don't even know that anti-heal items exist. That's why I'm pointing it out so much. In the worst case, that none of your teammates listen or care about it, and a regen hero completely destroys you, just build the anti-regen item for yourself. So even when it's not the most useful from the stats itself, it is still 100% worth it. I had a match where I had to build Sea Halberd on Granger, who only get 50% attack speed from item and emblems. So, completely useless for him. That was before Dominance Eyes was an option. But this turned around the game completely, because the Fanny, who destroyed my team before, couldn't regen as much as before and died quicker as she could react. So, just do it yourself if nobody else does. Hey yo, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs>